Hello everybody, this is Cedar Lee, and this is the armature of a canvas that I'm about to stretch. As you can see, I used masonite triangles to brace each corner, and I've attached them with three quarter inch wood screws. And the frame is built out of poplar one by threes with quarter rounds attached to them um, with wood glue and these little nails, little wire nails called wire brads. And on the back of each corner, um, I always put a staple just for some extra stability to keep it from twisting at all. So this is a super um, stable frame. It's not going to twist or bend in any direction. And now um, this is the canvas that I've cut to stretch over it. Uh, when cutting your canvas, you just want to make sure that you have enough excess fabric on each side of your wood to pull all the way around to cover the edges completely around the back of the canvas and I try and cover the back of the wood completely too because that's where the staples are going and you want enough room to stretch it and staple it. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and staple this canvas together um, and then skip ahead till all the stapling is done and show you how to fold very pretty corners. Okay, so the stapling is all done, and I'm folding my first corner. Um, you start by pulling one edge of the canvas flat, like so. Then you fold a 45 degree angle, like so. And try to pull it very tight as you go. Then take all the excess fabric, line up those two edges, and pull that edge flat over the other folds. You just want to make sure to pull it all the fabric very tightly and try to avoid it being lumpy. Um, then you staple it. It's a little bit tricky, but it makes a very nice presentation from the side. There will be no folds visible on the edges of your canvas. Okay, let's look at that one more time on a new corner. Okay, this is another corner. Start by folding the one edge flat. Do your 45 degree fold. Pull it very tight. Like so. Then gather the excess fabric, line up those two edges, and pull that edge flat across the other folds, like so. Then you staple, and you can see here that that's a very pretty edge. Beautiful. So hopefully this has given you enough information that you can try it this way next time you're stretching a canvas. Good luck.